you're watching Star Wars Weekly Live Chat with The Force is with Jesse. The Force is with you, always. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review amongst the Amongst the poor lighting and the packing boxes and everything here, <laughs> I was so stoked to have this figure. This is really, really cool. I was excited about this one. Um, yeah, I know it's pretty much just a pretty much used the recent comic pack mole um, for the body, um, but that's fine. It appears to be a new head. I'm not sure if it's 100% new. It could be similar to the mole, but the spikes are different, and uh, yeah, it feel it looks from the outside a different a different sculpt. Um, and then the sort of the sort of belt and sort of sash over the front there that is new. I thought they um, thought they used the one from Nihilus, but no, they didn't. This is new itself, so that's cool. And of course, his uh, weapon, the mace, I guess it is. Um, but yeah, another character from Jedi Fallen Order. You know, this one's. This is a cool one, I, I dig this. It says on the back, Set in dark times soon after the execution of Order 66, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order features Knight Brother Warriors, territorial and extremely hostile fighters known for a proficient use of mixed combat styles. So yeah, number five in the gaming greats. Um, just reviewed Republic Commando Boss, and uh, most people were pretty, pretty stoked on that one, even though it's uh, slightly inaccurate. But uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to opening this one. The Darth Maul sculpt that they used for that shirtless Darth Maul was brilliant, so to use it again is a no-brainer. It gets a cool character out there at the same time. Not a named character, but a, uh, a warrior, an awesome warrior. Um, and yeah, I've, I've, I will consider getting a second one and, you know, giving him a bit of a different look. Maybe he's just a bit of a, a bit of orange paint or something, just to change his colour a little bit. That would be cool. So let's, without further ado, let's open it up and have a look. All right, here he is, another cool figure for the Jedi Fallen Order shelf. I dig this one, I reckon it looks great. Really nicely done. You know, like I said, for a repaint, you know, to get a cool character out there like this is awesome. Um, we'll quickly get a look at his weapon. She's got some cool paint details. I like that there's like a tooth on the end. Some kind of bone or a tooth, horn perhaps. Of one of his fallen comrades, who knows? Yeah, nicely done. Got the wraps and stuff around it. Looks good. It's pretty soft plastic, which is okay. It holds its form pretty well. It's all right. You know, it's it's pretty sharp. You know, you don't want any kids playing with this to poke their eye out with this thing. And if it was a harder plastic, <laughs> yeah, that would it would probably hurt. So all good on that front. Let's get him holding it there. Take a look at this guy. You know, paint apps is. Really good on this one, I'm digging it a lot. So yeah, it is a new head um, on the, the mall neck and torso. Uh, same legs as Darth Maul. And yeah, like I said at the start, just this top, this skirt thing, whatever you want to call it, and belt. Um, yeah, that's that's new, unless I've completely missed it. You know, slight, you know, just new, new modifications to it to another figure you can get something as awesome as this out. I really like the, the markings, the black markings. He's got the white paint across there. He's almost got some sort of yellow shading on the shoulders there, around the chest, just to sort of show a little bit of definition in skin tone and skin color. Looks good, none of that on the back. Not a lot of markings on the back, actually. I thought there might be a little bit more, but Fine. Markings at the front look good. The articulation there, the paint all goes all the way up into the joints, so you're not gonna any reason to look funny if you do that, but that's alright. Not a big problem at all. Yeah, the horns definitely stick out a little bit more than moles. See, I don't know about you guys, but I'm digging this guy. He looks great. love to have a couple of these.
I'm just saying Savage Press. Whew, wouldn't that be a good one? That'd have to be a deluxe. You know, armor him up, build him up, a bit taller. Give him his sweet double blade. Yeah, I'm liking this guy a lot. He looks really awesome. He's got the same awesome articulation as the mole, as it makes sense, you know. And you know what I realized? I, uh, does mole? No, I don't think he does. I think there might have been a bicep joint, but there isn't. But I guess it doesn't really need one. Um, it's more of a Marvel Legends thing. But that's probably why I'm confused, because it's more of a Marvel Legends thing than that, than anything. So, that's what there might have been. A, I was just looking at mole, because he's got some quite dark sort of tattoo marks in there. I thought maybe there was a joint in there, but you know, you don't really need that there when the shoulder gets a lot of movement with that butterfly joint. You don't really need that a lot. So that works out fine. You still get a nice angle there. Just get those, yeah, nice posability and angles with the with the joints the way they are. Didn't really need anything more. So that's all good. So yeah, love to hear what your thoughts are. I'm pretty excited given that I announced that uh, Jedi Fallen Order 2 is well on the way from Respawn, so that's awesome. Absolutely adore that game, so I cannot wait to continue that story. But yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here, I would appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to look at my giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway at the moment, um, at the time of this recording. Um, so I'll be giving that away in the next week or so. Um, so jump back a couple of videos, can't miss it. And uh, yeah, jump over to my Instagram, follow, subscribe to, to either or, and uh, yeah, just drop a comment on the selected video or post and uh, go in the running to win, I think it was eight action figures from all different scales, which is awesome. So I'm really, really excited to give that away at some point in the next few weeks. So thank you all very much for tuning in. I appreciate your time, appreciate your company. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.